Good morning, everybody. How we doing? We got Ron in the chat and Red Line and myself. <laughs> and I got to turn my stuff down over here. What we got going on today, peeps? Don't know where everybody's at today, but we will get something rolling. Oh, what that is. See if we can get this to work today. Um, where is that? I got this key down here. I don't want to remove that folder. Um, all right. Oh, boy. Well, I've been having problems with this uh, track drive, and I figured out what it was. I was using the wrong extruder gear. So. It was all screwed up. One step away from play one. Example. Oh, there ain't no songs in there. Okay. I'd add freaking songs to it. We will try to do that, if we can. No, that disappeared like a fart in the wind. Um, we'll go to file. There, we're getting somebody in here. It's in here somewhere. Music. The freaking hell is that doing empty? How about that music? Why is that empty? What happened to all my downloaded music? Under downloads, A music file in here by chance. No, do not see it. Sound effects. all this stuff. Hey, this one, it's not on this device. Well, then what the hell is it doing in here? There's like 10,000 sound effects in here. And that's it. How do you get rid of them? Sorry, there isn't one. Um, how do you select all? Select all? Delete them. Man. And now uh, we select these. I don't know why that keeps on disappearing. But, I don't know, sound effects, I just deleted all of them, add to sound effects, new playlist, create playlist, okay, where is it, there it is, well, oh. Why does it keep on putting all this crap in here? Because it won't play them. I know it's not in there, dumbass. I'll 
controller music is being looked for. GT. Plus. GT. I don't know how to do this. Hey, there we go, Ben. What's going on, Ben? Good morning. Oh, I was just looking for some damn background music disappeared on me. And I don't know where the hell it went. I mean, it's like gone, gone. Not in any of my music folders. Sound recordings. What the hell is that? No idea what this is. This is just a test of the voice recording. Okay, that's what that is. Get the test. I don't know. Do I know if anything from my mind? Right, you can see it. It's going, all right, go. Go, go. I'll have to go check it out. Get rid of some of this crap. And we'll go check out. It's in your Discord. Uh, and there he is. Well, enlarge this. Can we pick on it and go to next? No. All right. Here we go, Ben. It's going to be all you, my friend. Share your screen. There he is. Share. All right, there he is. That's the new merch. Oh, look at that. Pretty sweet, my friend. No stickers. All right. So my, my shirt's on its way, right? I'm a triple X. I don't wear stocking caps, but I'll wear a T-shirt. Triple X, big fat man size. Not a little skinny man like this. You can pre-cut the sleeves and the neck off if you want. Or you're a little popsicle, you know that? <laughs> That's cool, though. That's nice, nice. Cool. Oh. Gonna be on this screen. It sucks trying to uh, figure out where the hell you're at with your mouse when you're trying to do that. That's nice though. That been totally cool. But hey, Martin, how you doing? That's it. I had this running and I had this one on there. There's a gear on there. Actually, this motor too. And this direct drive is not set up for that. And so it wasn't running right and I couldn't figure out why I was sitting there trying to figure it out. But now I've got the, the insect gear that's grooved. I don't know why my douche box's not working. I have to restart it. Let's restart the spot. I'm on the spot. Is it going to work this time? I don't know. It says there's four people in here, so it's reading it. So, but anyway, so I need that one with the groove in it. You know, it's in the set, so that would I took the one off of mine. So you know, mine's down right now, and I uh, 
I ordered some more of them. And they get two of them for uh, six bucks. For two of them. Or for eight ninety nine, you can get ten of them. I mean, how stupid is that? I shouldn't even, I mean, I guess, make your money off the two. And unless you're a complete idiot, you order two, you know. Just absolutely bonkers in the head. One thing I forgot to do when I took this apart, though, is I forgot to uh, pull my film and all. So, I got filming in here and it shouldn't be in here. And I think I'll do. I will pull off the golden tube and cut it off down here. And then stick it back on and stay in there. Hey. Eh? Young good company, the boat too. And then when I put it back together, it should be all good, right? Then the new one will just go down and hit it. <laughs> oh, wrong way, wrong way. Yeah, as soon as I started my pop this up, you get two thumbs down instantly. That's a couple of my favorite people. I pop in there all the time. Bunch of asses. Ah. There's another one for it that I might need. I got all my tools sitting on my build plate here. Uh, up and down again all night. I know that's just a broken record, ain't it? See, I think it would look a lot nicer with this one on there. Black and pink. My daughter's like, no, I want pink. I'm like, all right, whatever. Whatever, child. And I don't know what the hell I did with the screws. Oh, they're still in there. There they are. And then I, I was having a problem with this. It was clicking. You know, it had a lot of room, a lot of playing. It would click, click, click. It would, you put any pressure on it forward. And uh, I just couldn't quite figure out what the hell was going on. I'm trying to get you back here a little bit further. Now i got to try to aim this damn camera again. I hate aiming cameras. I'd be a real shitty cameraman, you know. And you guys gotta get to stay there too. Wanna stay there, good enough. There we go. But um it would it had a movement this way and it was making a clicking sound and I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Between Mr. Buttram, the smart man ends up it's the uh the wheels were are bad the wheels roll back and forth like this inside the bearing so i took the wheels off of the, around my ender and for now when i put on here you know because i got the linear rail going on mine so i was like all right fixed so i think i didn't really tighten up and to add a little bit of extra stuff there to uh, get it to hit the uh, end stop. But, I don't know, I think that's uh, about it and ready to go. So, I mean, it's still basically connected here. It's just got to come up and around it. And I, gotta print, I was going to print this new one. But I haven't been able to do that because I don't have any of my, I mean, my tomato, but I don't want to deal with that right now. I still don't have my desk cleaned off for none of my stuff from Murph put away. So, that ain't happening. I need another hand here or something. Put some fur on it then. 
Let me get these cameras and make you stand your way nicely. Oh, I missed. What is it? I think it's right there. I'm a damn on good shaking, you toad. But it's nicer when this thing's tilted out a little bit more. And so I, I went in Tinkercad. I went in Tinkercad and I cut the fan off. Tipped this forward some. More so it would come out a little bit more here. And then I le I cut I leveled this the fan plate off because there's something wrong with that too because if you put a fan on there and tighten it down then it just sits there and makes all kinds of freaking noise you know so yeah. I don't know this one's not stopping or stripping it out I think I'm stripping it out. <laughs> So I think we'll stop. All right, now this one's gonna go in there. See, I like grinding my cord through there, but I haven't cut this one yet. So that ain't happening quite yet. I'm missing my screw. No, I got all these. All right, I'm gonna find the right size. There we go. There's really only need two in here because you put more than two in here, and it goes bonkers on you. We'll just put two in here for now. Come on, baby, get in there. Oh, what the hell is that? How is everyone today? Hey, Ron. Okay, don't like that hole. So we'll go in a different hole. Why don't we hit the good holes, easy holes? Two spots working. Yes. Easier from the RC cars. You can go, you can use this one for going around corners. I can't quite see it. Good, and you? I don't know why this camera stopped working. Or no, this one's, no, they're both working. Why ain't they coming through? Oh yeah, I guess it is. All right. Sorry Doing for, good things. Sorry for the hands in front of the camera. <laughs> Come here, dirty bastards. Been leaving stuff in this magnetic tray and it's freaking turning everything magnetic. All my Allen wrenches now are magnetic. It's good and bad. It's, they're magnetic. Well, new printer has a bad power supply. Man, you have a hell of a problem here, Ron. Whoever you're buying a printer from, you got to quit doing that because apparently they're douches and they don't know how to make a printer. You know? There we go. Morning, all. Morning. You think. Yeah. I don't know how the hell you get so many bad power supplies. I've never seen anybody have so many bad power supplies. You bought three printers and three bad power supplies, right? Or three and two. Three printers with two bad power supplies. How's it going, Ed? Thanks, Martin. It'll be available soon. Whoa, whoa. Yes. Man, I think I'd start ordering from somewhere else. <laughs> I think this is almost done. Oh, shouldn't we have that nested on there? That could be a shortened situation. 
And it has one, indeed it has one. Nice. And there are some more fans. This is the only bore I got, so I ordered four more of them. Oh, there's my nut. It's on the wrong one. Okay, there goes that one. Good morning at Revel 1 GHT 34. I contact Geetik, they're working on replacing the power supply. Okay, that's cool. I'm looking for that nut I just dropped. I don't know why, I got plenty more, but. That's just. OCD thing coming around, you know? Hey, Ed. How are you doing? Hopefully my bed's still level because I went through all that crap yesterday. Joe? You almost got your tail there, mommy. Doing good. And you? Hey, Mike. How you doing, buddy? Alright. What are you doing now? So that I'm magnetized. Alright. Spin this bad boy on there. I also want to look at the alignment clip before I put the grabber on there. The alignment should be about perfect. Oh, it's a kind of end of our family. There we go. Dentist soon. Look at that. Now yeah. it's straight down in there. Bam. That is awesome. I mean, there ain't no fighting or nothing. It's just a straight shot. Awesome sauce. Oh, yeah. I gotta go to the dentist pretty soon, too. My goddamn teeth. <laughs> and then that will give us more room in here for this. Once I uh, get this bed out a little bit. Uh oh. We lost our nut. Oh, yeah, it's better come back out. Having problems with my nuts today. They want to do an x-ray, then I think I need a wisdom tooth out weary face. I need to get some super glue in here. set that cap down somewhere. There it is. Right there in front of my face, right? Unless you guys can't see it because I got you all presented up there. And, uh, I'm just trying to get the super glue on here so it holds this nut on there.
Well, they don't hold everything else on there. Uh, and get out the magic spray. There we go. Hold it for a few seconds. And we're all good. All right. Try this again. Should have put this in before I put that on, but that's why I want more room here because I need more room. Did you know? Kitty Mania is all sleeping right now, which is good, good, good. Why is this? Come on, get in there. There it goes, I think. That one works sometimes, and sometimes it don't. There we go, that one works. I mean, you know, you know, hands, big hands in the way. Uh, I wonder how that works. See, they're just it's so tight there that I don't think it will. Oh, look at that, it does. Because it's such a perfect alignment that, uh, goddamn, I'm kind of good, ain't I? I know, don't break my arm, right? And once I get a, uh, you can know, loosen this up just a little bit too. I'll put a longer screw in here once I get the other, uh, once I get the other, uh, thing on here. Just because I think this is just like a little too tight myself. I think that's it. Extra screws, that's all right, right? Extra screws are fine. Go do a cleaning of the bed here. And then uh, let's see if this damn thing even works, see? Eh? All these extra parts off of here. And I'll put everybody on there. Uh, I think they, if I remember, I got everything done, I think. Get the cat hair off of the center. Too far. Where are we going to be printing right about that? Come on, it's dinner. Be about there. Flying solo again? Yeah, for now. He's, he's around somewhere eventually. That's all right. I liked people on here, you know, when I first started. That was nice because uh, no gun shy, but it just makes it a little nicer for somebody to talk to face to face. And they can say something once in a while instead of listening to me. Keep on rambling on. I know uh, Wednesday I'm going to have to find a new wingman. Who wants to be my wingman on Wednesday? What you doing on Wednesday, Ben? You want to be my wingman? Next week? How have I changed? Yeah, did this thing move? Oh, that should move. We should be fine. All right. Uh, let's see what we got going on. Uh, and also, uh, it'd be nice to have background music. I'm going to remind myself to work on that. Next two weeks are difficult due to school holiday. Maybe early May. 
Well, no, that doesn't help me. D's going to be gone next Wednesday. So, that's why I was saying Wednesday, you know? I'll find some money. We'll get Ron up early. Canadian Maker Project. See what kind of knowledge he doesn't have this week or next week. Ah, coffee. LOL, sorry, man. <laughs> But our other project, yeah, I know. We'll start that next month. I understand. We'll see how this works. I was printing and it just kept on under extruding on me, man. It was pissing me off something fierce. So I was, Good morning, Mike, and chat number still fucking snowing. Oh, is it? <laughs> what, you got about two feet now, Greg? How long has it been snowing for you? That's funny shit. I'm sorry, but <laughs> not me. I guess I better not laugh too much. It could be me. You're just north of me. I guess I take gander, see what it looks like for me, huh? Oh, six inches. God. Probably six inches of heavy wet stuff. Okay, dentist time. Might be back later. Okay, I might if be not, here see later. You Sunday. Yep. Well, you'll see me before that. You don't. You don't get off that easy. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna check the weather, wasn't I? Check that funky weather, boy. There ain't no partly sunny about anything. There ain't no sun. Uh, we're thirty-nine degrees. High forty-five today. So a little bit better. Oh, I got my SSD. Oh, Monday, Tuesday is going to be 50, 60 on Wednesday, and then we'll drop back down again until Sunday. I got my new SSD. My other one sold so fast, I figured I'd throw this one on, see if it sold, but it didn't sell, so I'm going to put this in today. 240 gig I got for like $8 more, $9 more. I'm going to install that today. If I would have set up on the laptop, we could have installed it today while we were here. But I didn't do that, so we can't. Here we go. Oh, did I do something stupid on this one? No, uh, temp's high. Oh, yeah, my flow rate. There's still that flow rate down, I forgot. Nice. There it is. Sexy, sexy. 140 gig for under $30. Then somebody, I put it on there for 75 bucks just to see if anything would stick, you know, just because I can. And, uh, somebody put on there, well, can't you get that for like 30 bucks? <laughs> yeah, but some people won't, won't spend more than that. So, you know, you can go to Best Buy and get them for 30 bucks. <laughs> I didn't know that. The exact same one. Oh, let's tune the flow rate. I didn't turn that down to 90. Is that? Because when I sliced this, it was at um, 90. It was at uh, on mine, and I was trying to over extrude it. Because mine wasn't printing right with a uh, certain material. So I, uh, I decided that it was time to uh, increase the flow rate. 
I gotta learn to do on mine because I don't know what I want to use here. Okay, now we can adjust the cameras. We got Philly coming out. We should push more Philly through. There we go. What do you want, mommy? What do you want, mommy kitty? 140 grams, that is a small drive. 200, 280, 240, 240 gig, sorry. It is 240 gig. Oh, stop. You know what would help? Plug that stepper motor in, right? Doesn't that help sometimes? That helps every once in a while to have a stepper driver to plug in. There we go. Let's try that again. Well, that's just for the uh, operating system, Mike. That is small, too. Yeah, I understand that, but that's just for the operating system, pretty much. I have a terabyte otherwise of regular storage. So, it should be all right. This should work better now that I plugged the stepper motor in. I don't know why it wasn't pooping filament out. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's not for everything. You know, I'd fill that up in a half a day. Especially if I put my vids on there. Be all kinds of whoops. Okay, that's an overshot. Okay, that's still at 90. I hope. If they're no bigger than 500, I don't save them. But the SSDs are good. You you should if you get them SSDs, you should save them. I'll pay you more than what you'll get for scrap for them. Yeah, for a regular hard drive, yeah. Oh, look at who started up. You should have started up a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, I'm 120s and 240s and like that. Anything above 120. I mean, hell, any SSD, save them. Tip to me, I'll give you more money than the damn recycling plant. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? What do you want, little booty cat? You know what? I should just read slices, that damn thing, you know? I have no idea what the hell that's going up, but oh, it's still on there. How is that still on there? I don't know. Let's see, you know, it's still on here. We're going to start over. I'm going to turn this flow rate back down to where it's supposed to be. Oh, I did. Okay. Turn this back down to zero, zero. Seventy's fine. 
That's why it's put everywhere. Spirit, this inside that one. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. It's just not sticking anyways. All right, we're going to re-slice this bad boy. But we will keep the gun at temperature. Um, and then this needs to go down a little bit. Down. Not a lot, just a little. Probably why it's not sticking. That's correct. I can't quite tell if it's extruding properly yet or not. Reject. Just me smoking this time. It's the bed. That's off. That's in backwards. I don't like that one. Where's my blue one? Blue one's right. What is John? What's that one? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Why is this one ass backwards? Uh, okay, I got a cat wanting to climb aboard here. Well, I better turn this flow rate. Hang on, just say we gotta shut this bitch down. Reset that flow rate that I got set in here. Eventually, I'll get it right. Where's that kit going? Without kicking and moving in a little. I gotta do real slow. Movements there on my uh, chair, otherwise, I'll squish a kitty. Yes, it's dead. All right, only this time it goes. Hopefully, let's see. Oh, and I ordered condoms, too. They'll be here today. Ordered some condoms for the heat box. So, uh, we should be all good with the condom situation. That'll keep the uh, heat in. Ordered official Corality ones. Right? They'll be here today, I think. If I remember correctly. Amazon. 
I think that's the order I did. At 888 for 10 gears instead of freaking two. Or is it five gears? I don't remember. Maybe I ordered the wrong ones. I ordered 10 of them. That's what I'm saying. I must have ordered the wrong ones. Oh well. They're fine. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. I mean, just you can tell the way how it's sticking there. The color of the filament, you can tell. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It could come up a little bit, but... I don't know why it doesn't understand that. Yeah, it's come up just a little bit. A little bit darker pink area here. One point. Point one two five up a little bit. How does that work? Can't see, can you? No, I don't know if you guys can see the print. I can't see the screen. This is a new thing for this thing. And once I get that printed, then I can uh, put the locker bolt in and get this set correctly. And then uh, I will uh, print out the parts for mine. For the aluminum uh, linear rail. There's a cat out here. Yeah, things live on my bed now. They all sleep on my bed. <laughs> we got her. All right, the belt's, the belt might not be tight enough. We might have to snug that up a little more. Getting kind of fire with it yesterday, and then it just started skipping and crap, pissing me off. I'd like to get this a little bit better frame for you. That's a little bit better, I think. Another one I can't get any zoomed in any closer because it's all the way on the back wall there. There's Mr. D. You awoken. You have awoken. Now oh, this damn, uh, I don't know, that must be rocky or something that the uh, fan won't, you know, if you tighten a fan down on there, it just stops it totally. Kills it right there. So, but that should be all right. Looking good anyway. Good morning. Good morning. Come on, we break now. What's that? We break anything yet? Nope. Yeah. Well, Bummer, huh? Except for my camera keeps on falling, I think. I've been running, 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 getting stuff done. Ah. Uh -huh. I got um got that other extruder on there, of course, or that other gear. It's 
through the motor from mine. Got her all put back together here, and we're trying that, that uh, thing again here. See if we get any skip steps or anything. Or, and it's just so, you know, even with mine, I didn't have it quite lined up. So I'd have to sit there and spin and twist to try to get that filament down in there. This one I lined up real nice. That filament just drops right in. It's freaking sweet. So, hers is easy as pie. Like I say, I just need to have this bent out further so I can uh, get more access up here. Yep. And that's why I'm printing this. Hopefully it's bent out far enough. I really don't know until I print it, you know. Otherwise, I'll have to go back in there and redo it again. Because there's just no room right here. You know, you can't squeeze that to get it out, and you just can't do nothing. Don't put you in a dummy. Then I re-sliced it, too, so I don't have to mess with the flow rates at all, so they're right. Yep. Good morning, everyone. Oh, we got. Oh, that's Mr. D. I could turn that temperature up a little bit just because I want to. I'm going to make it a little more shinier. Otherwise, this stuff looks kind of flat. Yeah. A little, little flat orange. Let's see how five goes. Got most of the stuff on the hyper. Did you? Most printed part, yeah. Just waiting for the. And the V6 had to get in. Sweet. there. Yeah, nice. It's looking nice, though. Yeah, I'm just putting a little more. I want to put a little more striping in the colors, giving some white highlights. Yeah. Cool. He's getting there. Awesome sauce. Cool, cool. I say the duck's not done, but that's all. White took that out. Living room. Oh, uh, yeah. The muddy cracker. There we go. Oh, crap. I mean, I have more parts to put on hers, so I okay. got enough to do on hers. Yeah, it looks like I definitely need to go through and buy all new wheels for these damn things. Or just switch them all over to linear rails and be done with it. One of the two. All right, boom, and he's gone. He's gone, I say. He's gone. Coffee. Definitely. Dear God, these cats sleep all day and then they keep me up all night long. I guess it ain't just them. But it doesn't help my sleeping situation, that's for damn sure. 
can't remember how I bent this one or what I did to it. Uh, yeah, I almost got them finished. Let's hang on this side. Let me present you there. Oh, yeah, that's looking nice. Good old mallard. That is sweet, dude. Need a couple little more things with the feathers across his back and on the wings and redefining the edges on it and stuff. Yeah. But it's looking damn nice, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Quite, quite the ball going on today. Going over to Uncle's up to the nursing home where he's at. Yeah. Bring him a laptop. And I still have a phone. <laughs> I'm looking for a laptop stand for my desk. I'm not finding one I'm looking for the one. No, now I went through that laptop here. Yeah. I got that. No. Oh. Set up with Python and three instances of OctoPrint on it. Oh, nice. I was running that yesterday, running the two printers off of it. Yeah. Now you're going for three? Yeah, yeah. I've got, uh, I've got four, four instances set up on it. I just, it's kind of nice. You just click on it. You can open up the next one. And, yeah, yeah. Open up the next one. Okay, so I think I'm going to, when I go out today, I'm going to stop by the hardware store and pick up some threaded rod. We call it ready rod here, but then I can make some stuff with that, like my stand that I want. And you got the trim by swim, but it says to use 2020, and I don't want to use 2020, you know? Number one, because I don't have none. <laughs> but I want to get it up off the desk so I can actually use it somewhere here. I don't know where I'd put it, but move my lamp and my drawer, put it above my mixer. Nice right there. Typing Morse code on it. Uh, let's go around there. I think I'm, I'm going to turn that little mono price maker select into a little 200 by 200 hypercube and run direct drive. There you go. That'll be nice. Here and sleep on me. I had him here somewhere. Man, I had him this. I gotta go. I'll be back. Better lay down. You know, keep looking at me.
रही Joey, damn it, stand right in the way. Stand mm -hmm. right in the walkway between my bed and the wall. So I can't freaking get in here. I gotta jump over. <coughs> Found Mama's stash of Girl Scout cookies. There's breakfast. Uh oh. One bit of breakfast and lunch and a Girl Scout cookie, don't they say? Ah. I don't know where she hit the good one, the mint. But what money? The breakfast of champions for a diabetic. You betcha. Ah, well, it started, eh? Get me something for breakfast or lunch or whatever. Pick me up some more riot. I get some soup. That's what I need. What was I looking for? Oh, I gotta find Tweedle on my laptop. What you working on today? Oh, just uh, I'm gonna print some more of the clips I made for the clothesline. Oh, yeah. I painted the little crap cams that had that the white plastic that was ghosting yeah. the image inside. I just painted the outside of them black. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just going to... You got to test them and see how they... Uh, <coughs> Make sure I got rid of that ghosting image on the inside. Holy moly. Looks like it might be going to Fort Atkinson. Chromebook. Samson Chromebooks. I even put it under the lights so I don't get the ghosting image on it on <laughs> Out like a light they are. Oh yeah. Looks like a pile full of kittens I got on my bed. That's funny. <coughs> what do you have sleeping on your bed? What's her name? <laughs> they take over. Oh, yeah. That they do. And they got to use, when they're there, they got to use a pillow. What? Oh, mine's black, man. Man. 
These are the five thirties. Yeah, so that fixes those. Cool. And this thing is doing the best print, but it's not under food anyway. So we're all good. Four and a half hours later, I should have an extruder. Then again, you never know. Maybe it won't. I can't make no money on that one, no. Ain't that expensive. Might as well go buy a new one. Anybody out there find any uh, DDR3? Or did everybody forget about me? There's none to be had for a good price. And not down by you. Yeah, definitely not down here. Definitely not up here either. Like that in between us, you know? So in between us, it uh, gets... Uh, Because I just can't see the crap anymore. Yeah, I have it just in the right spot in order to uh, see it good. Sixteen gig for ninety bucks. Almost more expensive than brand new. That's what I'm saying up here. It's freaking insane. All right, let's see, Gander. Well, I'll just magnify the glass here. Somebody's got stacks of DDR2. Oh, yeah. Well, that doesn't do us no good now. Look at that. You guys make a fine glass of two, huh? <laughs> it's uh, had plenty of DDR2. Yeah. We don't need that. All right. Well, it looks all right. So, we're good shape. Good shape, good shape. I had this in over a week ago, 150 bucks. There's 16 gig for 50 bucks. That ain't a bad price. And it's in Spring Lake, North Carolina. Yeah, it's too far away. Yeah, too, way, too far away from anybody that I know. That's probably five hours from here. Yeah. Hey, there he is. Ben the Bat. How you doing, Ben? Ben got new swag. He's got it on his Discord. Right here. There you go. Laptop for sale. A computer. One eight gig stick for forty bucks. 
right. This is just for uh, this guy here. It's still available. See if he answers because I ain't got a drive for it. It's just right down the road. I'm probably at work. Now well, somebody's smoking bolt. I am not. Ender three, two hundred and ten bucks. Huge. Cheaper than up here, man. Acrylic frame A eight, two twenty five. <laughs> Where are you looking at that? I, I mean, uh, this is up by Johnny Mac, Charlotte, North Carolina. But what, 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 what? Where are you looking at, though? I mean, the on marketplace. On the marketplace, yeah. I told you I wanted to change his listing from three hundred dollars to two seventy-five best offer. Yeah. Here's a light new Creality. CR 10 S Pro 3D 500 bucks. And I offered that one guy 75 bucks for that ender that he's got for 275. He stuffed that 200 up his yin yang. <laughs> yeah, 500 dollars for a CR 10 S Pro. Like the here's an HP Elite book laptop tablet thing. You know, that one would be good for my daughter. On an i7, 4 gig of RAM, 162 terabyte or gigabyte solid state drive. Oh, God darn it. That hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. What the heck is this? I don't know. Maker bot 3D printer. You got a lot of printers down by you. All it says is Maker bot. Maker bot replicator. Only two grand. Only two thousand dollars. What a bargain. I guess I do got something around here. Oh, he's down to 260 now. He went down again. I got a Dremel for 350. And there for 260. Mono Price Mini for 125. An Ultimaker for 2300. 17 G's for that one. I don't even know what it's called. There's another Maker Bob for 1300. Twenty cents a gram for PLA, Pittsburgh, Wisconsin. What the freaking hell is this? Large ten pack, ten pack of PLA, four hundred and thirty bucks. Smoking what? Oh, here's a good deal. Actually, for you, Mike. What do you got? AMD Ryzen and motherboard, one ten. What kind of what what Ryzen though? It's a quad core Ryzen three. That might not be bad, huh? With an MSI motherboard. Put that in your watch list for now or save. A maker of PLA. All colors available. Dell XPS i5 2.8 gigahertz quad core 225 hours. Yeah. HP Windows 10 laptop. Doesn't say anything else. 140 bucks. I don't understand what these guys are doing here, but 
the seventh and the message for more details. Oh God, here's the deal of the lifetime, and ain't it? Eight, eight, five hundred and fifty bucks. They're a fifty dollar treating pen. Oh, another hundred and twenty five dollar uh, mono price. Well, that ain't a good deal either. A tomato. Somebody's selling their tomato for three hundred bucks. Hundred and twenty three thousand for an ender. GTX nine fifty sixty bucks. There's a Prusa. There's eight hundred bucks on a Prusa. Not a man of These are all over the place, so they're nowhere around me. A2? What the hell's an A2? A not A2. Never heard of that one. Two Creality Under Threes printers with extra 400 bucks. Oh, you got a Raspberry Pi on each of them? Both are set up with a Raspberry Pi and an Ecto Print. Twelve rolls of filament in various colors. Printing on each book work fine. But they sell half a long workbench as well. The LG widescreen 27 inch computer monitor. Hundred and forty bucks. There's a Da Vinci. Hundred and ninety bucks. XYZ two fifty. Oh, there's a laser, three D printed laser. Fifty bucks. And uh, looks like a decent one too. Take a look at this. How many watt lasers is it? Under four for 12 volts. Working current is at 2100 milliamps. Power oh, five. Oh, 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 now, this, now, this is classic. Yeah. AARP. Linux OS. Touchscreen. Very secure desktop. <laughs> designed for seniors. Uh. They paid nine hundred dollars for it, and they're looking to get three hundred. Nice. I don't even know that AARP has. Uh, Isn't that like an insurance company or something? That's the for the old people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's the bottom price. Maker Select Plus. Is that what you got? Here you go. Yeah. Yep. 200, 200 bucks. No, I had a I had a whopping 30 bucks in the parts on mine. Yeah, that's what Sony gave it to you. Actually, to get it to fix the problem it had when I got in, it also took was a soldering iron. Yeah. Here's an i7 2600 quad core processor, 90 bucks. Some people are stupid, oh. PLA and Pentium, which is one of the tools from Monom Price, Maker Geeks, you're an idiot. Or, let's see what's going on. Or, you might have four or five rolls, and he wants 110 bucks for it. I mean, there's all different flavors, but little parts and pieces, nothing full. ABS, 10 bucks a roll. Two new in box, speaker box, 3D printer for sale.
black computer desk, 35 bucks. We should see this piece of junk that somebody, somebody said, it looks like a dog is chewed on every corner. And it, mm -hmm. Amazing some of the junk that people try to sell. And so today we're just uh, going to the marketplace looking at printers that people are trying to rip you off on. Well, I'm sorry, it's lost it, uh... A computer chair it needs to be gone ASAP. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> SLA printer. 215 SLA printer 325 1800. God damn, they all rolled here. How many rolls? That? Sixty-one inch Sony TV, seventy-five. Upgrade, upgraded CD printer, 150 bucks. Well, that doesn't tell you, man, that's a really bad picture. South Benton, Indiana? Yeah. Must be like Mr. Buttrams or something that's all jacked up. <laughs> Where's that Vince? <laughs> Yeah, we ain't doing much today. Sorry, right, it's almost over. I gotta go do some running here. Oh, crap, I should have gone already. That's right. Who cares? I gotta take the pistols and the practice pistols over. Pick up more dog food while it's on sale. There you go. What the hell is that? You got a bunch of plants that have to go on the ground. We took get out freaking junk cups. Hey, what's going on, my friend? How you doing? What's up? How am I? We're not doing a lot today, my friend. Got my printer going, one of them. So I got to print that one. And then, I don't know, this guy has like so much. He's got more filament than freaking God. What, he collected all? Holy crap, 23 rolls of filament. And he wants enough money for it. Oh, it comes with some stupid XYZ printer. Still. Good. Busy, busy, busy here, but wanted to pop in and see what's happening. Oh, uh, there's not a lot going on, as you can tell. Nobody's here. Um, yeah, we're just here, man. Chill it. And that printer's all over the United States. <laughs> One of the supports on that print is falling over. Yeah, I know. Nothing I can do about it now. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> you know? It'll be fine. I hope. Uh, uh, it catches a little bit to the other one there, and then it should be all right. I don't care. I'm busy. I know who it is. I'll call you back. And he knows I'm right in the middle of doing something, and he calls, so not that I can do about it. Huh? Oh, my uncle's calling. Who's on the back here? And he knows that I'm busy. ABS, $5. And he keeps it back to the Mega, 200 bucks. I know this guy. Wow, well, you got another one? Oh, this is a damn rifle. Oh, you're on this one. 
Yeah, the fang supports can be difficult, especially on mirror. Yeah. I had mine fail on the pet one I printed recently, but it's still printed. Yeah. Grim might help. Room. Yeah, I know. It'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. It's starting to stick to the one next to it, so. It'll be doing good here shortly. Nova. Let's see now. That one's bad. I'd buy that. Maybe. Neva. Neva Delta. Delta. Forty K laser. Forty K. Yeah. Actually, this is the red one. This is oh, actually a decent. The screen is like the MC Escher staircase with stuff right side up and upside down and sideways all in one screen. Yeah, I know. Should I fix that? I could fix that. There are one or two. This one's upside down. Which this one here needs to be rotated a little bit, right? Oh, there you go. Counter hot buttons. That didn't help, did it? Is that right? Yeah, there you go. Transfer. I get that way better. Is that better on that one? And then um, this one. Oh. Where's the other one? Here you go, the device. This one. I need to rotate. Rotate 180. Is that better? It's all good, dude. Not like I'm the OBS police. I know. I just don't pay attention to that crap sometimes. You know? Oh, look. You get the laser and the Tron CP 802MA 3D printer for 600 bucks. It's a little bit expensive. I mean, it's probably new price. Oh, and you get two and a half rolls of filament, or one and a half rolls. There you go, Rabbi. Man. Smoking crack. <laughs> I need to go. We need to do that. Man, next. those are sweet. I have no idea rattlers were that colorful. Yep. I might have two more skins there. Do it. If you want a pair, let me know. There's another double. 450 bucks. XYZ Pro Delta Da Vinci. Sorry. 450. Man, there's a lot of printers out here, man, but they're all crazy. Oh, Nova. There's pepper motor drivers, 12 bolters, pancakes. Mm -hmm. 
hand out there. Does anybody have a, a Toshiba laptop? One of the 8,000 series Toshiba laptops? Oh. What's there, Bobby? Nope, I don't. Why, what's that? They're all up there. Got a brand, brand new battery pack here that for 8,000 series. I know. If I wasn't unemployed, I'd be all over him, but it's going to take me a while to get back up to full workload. Yeah, eh? So what you what you gonna do? You gonna do your own thing, or you actually looking, or? I think Robbie needs to do some freelance and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You gotta do some stuff on the side. I got a couple of places that was uh, that I, we're looking for art. And we'll send them your way. Right. Definitely. I mean, you're good at what you're doing. I mean, they don't realize what they lost, you know. They might realize it after a good a week. I'm calling you back. Please come back. Yeah. Then you can have to double your yeah, salary. Getting open for business again. Self-employed. There you go. Spent all of yesterday getting with old customers and getting filed with the state and counting and stuff. Cool. Awesome, awesome sauce. Selling their geek geco tech bed. Well, the bed's a little bit smaller. I well, don't know. Cut it down. I think they just want monkeys to push buttons. Management seems to have a grand plan, but fail to see their shortcomings. Yeah. Have them all around, but I mean, who's left there now from the original company? Is there anybody even left? Think there's anybody even left? And I guess we should have been doing something. We could have been working on the damn raspberry pie. Three stepper motors, forty bucks. <laughs> huh? Yeah, stepper motor drivers. Stepper motors or drivers? Or motors? I'm sorry, stepper motors. Two guys on production, one secretary, and the owner is consulting. What size? Regular NEMA seventeens. Uh, one point eight degree steppers, dual quarter shaft. Yeah, have a dual one? Oh, they are duals. Doesn't show it very good. They're dual. Dual shafted. No, uh, they're uh, PK264-01Bs. 
what it says. Sounds like a normal NEMA 17. Yeah, well, it's got the double-sided shaft, you know. No big deal, even. I know, it ain't no big deal. It uses a longer shaft. It's from like nine people to four. Uh, hell, Zyltex got them for ten ninety five. And they hire temps a lot. Yeah, it doesn't sound like that's going to last long. He spent a lot of money on a business that's going to go down hell real fast and not make him any money because he's doing it wrong. I guess, who are we, who are we to say? It's his money, let him blow it how he wants to. There's an Ender 3 Pro for 260. Alright, no, this is a different one. No, this is the same one. Now he says it's an Ender 3 Pro. And it's not because it only has the 2040. What a dumbass. Alright, should we make an offer? Fifteen dollars. Seventy-five bucks. It is a used printer. Not knowing what's been done to it, I will give you seventy-five dollars. I got seventy-five bucks. I think I'm telling me to go shoot myself in the foot, but you never know. You don't know unless you ask, right? Boy, Net, Wisconsin. See right there again now. That's fine. It's brand new in the box. Crowd Ender 3 from Amazon. Whatever. I don't care. People want you to pay for what their own for their What's mistake. The thing? This for your daughter's printer? Yeah. Yeah. For the direct drive, I redid the uh, fang on it. I redesigned it. So it tilts out a little farther so you can actually use the direct drive because I put the direct drive on her here too so I am uh yeah it's pink now yeah so it should work hopefully nice and then I got to print some stuff because I 3D printed linear rails for my Ender 3. And I'm putting linear rails on mine, 3D printed. But I need a couple more parts, and I already got the linear rail on mine. So I got to fix hers so I can print parts for mine. So that's what I'm doing right now. Is getting hers fixed up so I can print parts for mine. And then I'm done with hers, I think. I'm just going to give it to her and let her print whatever she wants. I've never done that. I've always kept it for myself. But she ain't using it. I'm going to be printing on it. But if she wants something, she can have it. We yep. only, only had it for, what, over a year? <laughs> Printed rails? Yeah. Do they work compared to real rails? I don't know yet. I haven't printed with them. They work. I mean, they. Right here, Doug. You know, this here is just a test one that I did. This one's a little bit sticky. But the one that I got on the end there is really nice. Moves real nice. 
a little noisy, but it moves nice. It moves nicer than this one. I'm just trying it just for S and G's, you know. I'll probably end up putting a real linear rail on there eventually. It all depends on how it works, you know. Cool. It all depends. This one moves so buttery smooth, though. Yeah. What? So I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Hi, Tuppy. Squirrel. Hey, you got a squirrel. Show him your squirrel. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. What are you guys fighting that about now? <clears throat> Here, boy. Want a treat? There's uh, Ron's Delta. 150 bucks. I can't get to Shabbat to rile them up. There you go. Get that douche pot just to roll in. Yeah, I got a whole full of kitties still. Hey, put a little kitty. Oh, for a little baby kitty, still. Oh, for a little baby kitty. Oh, yeah. Go back and put it. Oh, oh. Why do I get all my money? And you're going to house for all these. You better, yeah. take me, you better take me off presentation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here. We're going to go back up there. See? House will happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Poor little baby. Oh, poor baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, Santa. That went on our eyes. We're just chilling today. Not much going on. I think I might have one bad area there. Bad area, a real bad area to have a bad area. So by Sunday, we should have everything all ready, and we will be putting together the other ender with the linear rails. Get the hot end on there and uh, get some grip going on it, see how it goes. Hello. Do some small stuff. Ah. How about the rock? Gotta go get some dog. There. They're shooting me in the foot. Bang. You know, we don't want to listen to his phone conversation, do we? I'd take all the wheels from my ender and put on hers because it, uh, her ender had a real funny kicking sound to it and it ended up being the wheels. Yeah, kitty. Yeah, kitty. Yeah, kitty. I muted you, D, just so you know when you come back. 
Okay, let's get to a better price. Not an eight hundred dollar uh, Prusa. Six hundred and fifty dollar Prusa MK two. In St. Jones, Minnesota. You out of here, kitty? I'm gonna go for a walk and investigate. Look at the crap pile. Or you wanna stay up here? Daughter started feeding them soft cat food last night. Man, they want eight shits over that. Seems to be like a little something going on down in there. I don't know really what happened there. What? I don't know what the hell happened right there, but something happened there right there. I won't know until it either fails or finishes. Pretty sure it's gonna finish though. You know what? You get your foot underneath there. Get your foot out. Look at that. Isn't that trippy? Wow. Getting dizzy, kitty. But, uh, yeah, see that? It worked out just fine. Was it sailing down there? It glued itself right to it. No problems. Doesn't look like I got my roof supports turned on. Maybe I do. Robbie, you ever use them roof supports in Cura? You probably never use Cura, do you? Oh, I got him presented too. So we're sitting there looking at him. What a dumbass sometimes, or most of the time. I'm usually a dumbass, ain't I? What's the matter, Judy? But I got this direct drive, man. It's just... John Mac uses them. He likes him. I Come love him. Where are we going? Red light. LOL. Come on. Where are we going, buddy? You tell me. I'll be there. I mean, they make it so nice, you know, on the underneath prints when you use them roof supports, you know. Hey, red light. Wherever. All right, let's go. Oh, um, you use the roof supports, and, you know, when you're on underneath the print, and you use supports, it always looks like crap, but if you use them roof supports, man, they turn out pretty good. They turn out pretty good. You want down? Is that your thing? But it's a ways down there, ain't it? Oh, chicken. Kitty scared of the height. So. Ready? Yeah, here you go. Here you go, let's see. There you go, you got it. Wait, Dick, now what do I do? Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> That kids are always supposed to land on their feet, not their head. That one landed on its head. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. If this one works out. I'm gonna have to send this file to Matt. Cause I sent him this other file, and I don't like it. So hopefully this one works out better, and I'll send it to Matt because he's gonna print out my extruder here. Wants oh, to put it on a CR-10. He's tried a couple of them, too, and he said none of them work. So, he's like, you got them released? And I'm like, no, not yet. He's like, well, at least give it to me. And I'm like, okay. So, I sent him to Inside the Mind of Man. Damn computer just locked up and restarting. Oh, okay. I had my back turned. Didn't even see her gone. Sorry.
That's a nifty nifty little telescope. I think they made it out of a freaking cardboard dude. Ouch, cat. That's not cool. Better trim this down. Oh, that's a stove. Ow! Ow! Come on now, you're hooked into me, you little frickin' booger. Oh. Come on now. What the hell you got me tied up into here, cat? Damn it. Ah. Jesus. Got me all tangled up in cords down there and everything. I can't move because you're... Why do they always play right around the frickin' wheels, man? Like, what the hell? I can get a frickin' clue, you frickin' goody cat. But you all laughing the ass off over that one, huh? You know, electronics have been 10 miles. Let's see what we got in here. Been 10 miles of Stoughton. In front of it, what they're going for? Sandbags. Oh, sandbags for camera stands. Some gold. Uh oh, got some fudgies spinning around outside there now. Ain't good. What I gotta get set up is the retraction. I gotta get the traction to be set up right. I don't know if I'm not going fast enough or what the hell. Oh, now we're getting skip layers again. God damn it. Yeah, I knew I wouldn't know until I got up there. I'm clean this thing off again. See through the dirty ass thing. Oh, lights are bright. Because the school's too heavy, or what the hell? I mean, it's pooping it out. It just Same dollar number, T different building. <laughs> Story of my life lately. Look at that crap. Why? What we got there? That sucks. I said that they're extruding. It's sucking it in there. Keep on going for now. Turn this, uh, turn this extruder up some. Ran up to ten percent. See what it does there. This is the same thing that mine started doing. I wonder if it's a damn motor. I'm actually using the same motor as on mine. And this was what mine was doing. I 
gotta be the motor, right? The bike used to work perfect, then all of a sudden it starts going to crap. So I think I think I'm going to change that motor. This is the same thing I was doing on mine. That's why I had it up to 110% on mine. Huh. And when I crank it up, it fixes it for a little while and it goes to hell again. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Or, I mean, besides that crap there. I can't get the camera to turn that way. I, mean, I guess you can see the skip steps there. Where the hell are you going? Stay there, you dumbass. Oh, it skipped all them steps. And so I'm going to have to change that damn motor over. Switch that motor out. I'm going to try this one here. That's the problem. I got that original sticker on them. Take that off, it'll probably work. The Creality under Creality 3D 4240. Take that off, the damn thing might just work, huh? Yes? Them cats got blood all up now my legs now. Yeah, I'll take this way off right here. If I can get this one on. I changed the thing on the screw this one. Use it again. There. You know, print could look just for a little while. And then it will go to shit again. Now I have it pumped it to 110%. Seems to me like that's about what the other one did too. About an hour in and it will go to shit. Auction for any cubic photon resin at $75 so far. Oh, there you go, Vince. Buy it up. for a second. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, 
That's junk. Stop. There we go. Well, I told you to stop. Oh, that fan's just so quiet I can't hear it. So, I will leave that on. Just had to change this here motor out. What are you around me? Damn cats. Now I gotta find the right wrench. I need, yeah, I need to take this out. Take this one out quick. We'll change this damn scooter out real quick. Motor. Oh, I should take this one here out. Loosen that up. Hold on. That was a nice bowl. Right down to the tip. Hey. Okay. That went right down to the tip. Like tip. Right, give me a tweezers back. Where'd that thing go? Where the hell did I put it though? I don't remember where it was. Side, side. Oh, don't let me forget to uh to uh, turn the uh or plug the scooter back in like I did last time. Stay. Bend up a little bit, anyways, for me. All right, screwdriver. That one. That one. There we go. Hot, hot potato. Motor's a little hot too. I think that's probably a tell sign right there. Right? Put you over there, bring you over here. Oh, you know what's gonna be a lot of fun now? Aligning this again. There. Take that part right off. Might as well, eh? This one. Boy, boy, that one there was close, dude. I mean, I am so close, that's funny. And again. Almost there. Come on. I find it must not be the right size because it ain't working too good. There we go. I'm going to be good. I'm just from making it. We all wrench in it too. Rail screw, not the actual wrench. Getting close. Getting close, I'd say. I and H. I and H. Hey, how you doing, my friend? How you doing, John? Like you can tighten it up with a wrench, and then it won't come back off. Damn thing. The next one don't fit. Almost like they put a standard frickin' Allen screw in this thing. 
I'm uh, doing good my things. Nice to see you. I haven't seen you around in a while. Missed you at Murph, buddy. Looking forward to meeting you. Got every element you got laying here on the table. And then you pull them and don't show up. What the hell, dude? <laughs> but all that way just to meet yeah. you. A lot of stuff going on and helping friends, so I couldn't go. Yeah, I know. I understand. Gonna go to Earth? Are you going to Earth or no? Too far now. Damn it. I don't know. Okay, okay. Getting closer again. ERRF is on the books. I'm, I'm my plans to go too, so we will meet there. They'll probably make it there, and I won't. All right, ADD, don't go nutty on me here. Or whatever the hell you call it, because this might be good enough. It really should just go back just a little bit right there. It, I mean, it works, but it's not perfect. Well, I, I had it perfect before. That might be it. Of course, went too far. This is going to be the last time I'm going to do this unless I totally jack it. I think I totally jacked it. I think I got it loose enough that I can make it go where I want it to now. There's a screw down. Might be able to pry her over just a little bit. I think I know, oh, yeah, I do have it loose enough. Just loose enough to piss me off is what it is. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a sweet spot. We found a sweet spot. We got her now. That's where I want her. Right there. Right there. Yeah, because then you get to see all my current, my what you call it, enders, my metamorphosis enders that I F up. I'm good at effing stuff up, man. That's why it's off. Okay. I say it's off now, damn it. Uh, squeeze her in there. And now she's lined up perfect. Oh, I'm gonna put this one back in there. Well, it's still almost easy to get in there. Get in there. There we go. Now let's screw this one in. And we'll try this print again with a different motor. If it doesn't fit, get a bigger hammer. Yeah, eh? I got big hammers. I got hey, big... Eddie. Eddie. Hey, Eddie Mosner. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Hopefully this time, 
Okay. If you do it, shouldn't you be dead somewhere? <laughs> Hey, Wiles, 3D. How's it going? And okay, this is why I'm printing a different uh, thing. I redesigned the thing to give me a little bit more room right here. Ha ha ha, I died a lot last night. I'm streaming on you, do it after dark. I am alive, so it could always be worse. There we go. And where to go? I had the end here. All right. See, this is what I like. I got it lined up just perfect, and it slides right into there, just like butter. Like right now, it doesn't fit too bad. There we go. I guess we can start heating this back up so we can try it again. It does that too. Whenever I, uh, not whenever, but oh, you know what? I should do is plug this motor back in. Thanks for reminding me, guys. I don't know why it does that sometimes when I pause. I pause the print and then stop the print and I try to start the print again. It goes bonkers on me like that. Oh, come on, get in there. Sure, I'm just getting ready to get up. You aren't going in there. Then you go in there. Up there. All right. So heat her up and try her again. Because it was. Oh, yeah, we'll come over here. Where am I? It was printing decent. And then it just started under extruding. This side's worse. really can't see it unless I get it up close. And it, it was printing decent there, and then it started under extruding. So you can see better once it started going up that. Well, I won the AnyCubic Photon Resin Printer says it appears new for $185 plus tax and fees. Cool! So $230 out the door. Anyway, how much is it brand new? Like uh, 160? No. <laughs> Just messing with you, buddy. Just messing with you. Trying to get this stuff Damn. on. Nice, Vince. So we're going to be printing right about here again. Once we get rolling. All right. That should be right about there. Dollar four ten plus. They're like five hundred new, aren't they? I don't know. I'm just messing with you. But now if you get hooked into me and start making me bleed again. I'm gonna be pissed. What do you want? What? Well, come over here and I'll pick your happy ass up then. There. You happy? Here, want that? Play with that. Stupid ass cat. They got this them. is why you should have dogs, Mike. Well, right now they just have them damn sharp little kitten claws, you know? Kitten claws are a bitch. They be sharp as all sharp can be. There was one hanging off my leg before because he couldn't get his claw off me. It was stuck in me. Now I got a good trail of blood going down my leg. Don't jump, you idiot. 
But you're a moron and don't land on its feet. You land on your head. Here, we'll give this to uh, another kitty. You like playing with it. I don't know why. That's what I do with all my dead prints. Give them to the cats. And we got... I don't know how long before they get fixed, but it's supposed to be eight weeks and they're out the door. What? Eight weeks and I fell on your ass. And they're at five weeks, I think, my daughter said right now. So, should be only three weeks left. I want to make sure to squeeze some film in out before it started. All right, you done up here? You done crawling on my legs? You say you got big old eye boogers. I know you don't like that, dude. Sorry, but you had eye boogers just like your mommy. Your mommy's got big old eye boogers too, all the time. All right, so far so good. See, mine was working perfectly, and then it... Hey, Vince. Robbie. Oh, yeah, that's right. I raised this up a little bit, didn't I? There's a string on there. It's bugging me. That's me all right, huh? Yeah, I almost put the camera in the right spot and everything. All right, there we go. Oh, shit, I bet you I still have this up here. Now, when this is tuned, and you restart a print, and it says something in your tune. Okay, it went back. Never mind. Forget it. I didn't say nothing. I'm oh, I shut it off. That's why. But like I had it at a, I had it at 110 percent. Is it gonna stay at 110 percent? Like when you stop a print, you start a new print, you forget to change it. Does it stay at 110 percent, or is it just saying new? You know kind of what I mean. Ish. You started? Yeah. You started. All right. Take two. After we get into this one for an hour. Hey, John. Do you want a... um? Do you want one of these from Merv? One that doesn't say Wiley's 3D on it? I got some brand new ones. I picked up some extras for the unfortunate ones that couldn't go. You want one? Okay, okay. John? Are you there, John? Hello, John. There's a firewall. I think John left. You leave, John? Huh? 
Hello. This thing work? Sensors people are here. Oh, I'm froze up? No, I'm not. Whew. Damn, I thought I was froze up. They all kinds of pissy. I wonder if it is this motor. I mean, because it gets damn hot. I have plenty of motor, so I don't care. Hey, if you do it. I don't think he's here. No, oh, he left now. Oosh. He's gone. I think. So when you go to pick up that printer, you're going to fire it up right there to make sure it works? You know how they say it does? Yeah, I wonder if you get into ugly stuff with that, though, can you? Like all kinds of resin cured in there, stuck to everything or something? I don't know. I don't, I've never dealt with a printer like that, so... I couldn't tell you. I don't know if John's there anymore or not. Are you there, John? You do it! Nice things going on. We'll see how hot this one gets. Other one got damn hot. Now I have to wait till Monday to pick up the any cubic photo <coughs> down the street. I Why? will check it out before leaving the building. If it's broke or incomplete, I have the option to get money back. Why do you have to wait until Monday? I don't understand why you have to have wait until Monday there, Vince. Are you at work? Where'd my terrifying glass go? The auction ended today, so pickup starts Tuesday. Actually, cause I forgot they're closed Mondays. Backslash. Oh. Okay. Oh, I wonder if my packages have arrived. What the hell did I order today? Orders. Out for delivery. Now nah, that will fit in the mailbox. So, okay. Ten thirty. Hell, it ought to be there. I don't know what happened to Mister D. He died totally. Out for delivery. Okay. Okay, usually my stuff comes from, um, where the hell is this? It's left the factory. This must be coming on a different truck. Happy. What they ship with? Oh, they're telling me it's freaking factory. Does me no good. You say, fact. 
Okay, so I just have to go look now, won't we? USPS. I don't, it might be a USPS number. That's my account there. What on here? Packages. No, this is not. Oh, it could be. No, this is not. Is it? Yeah. That's not. It's got to be FedEx. That's it. Oops. I've seen FedEx. There's FedEx. Either FedEx or Oops, said. There ain't no way to tell. John's gone. He gone, John? He must be. Oh, sorry. Hey, crap. It's a searcher. Oh, oh, invalid. So we are looking for U P S. U P S. What's that other one called? I forget. Oh, ship package. So you want to track a package? Tracking. Tracking. Track your package. Track. Oh, I'll be here by today. It is UPS. For a resident. I know. Hey, a resident. Oh, three o'clock. So they're gonna drive by here six times. They're gonna drive by here six times because I'm in a residence. <laughs> End of day for residents. Still I'm going sure. EY. Yeah, I'm just about done. I had to restart this. I switched motors for that under extrusion problem because I was having the same problem with this one as I was. On mine, this already looks better. Don't leave, I just got here. Or piss on you, I'm out. No, not yet. You got a booger out there. You got a booger out there. How's that booger come from? I'm not going anywhere, Ben. You know better than Bye that. Then. I'm not leaving. You know better than that. Quit being a Ben. Another one look like that, too. So they always look like that. But <laughs> Facebook what? tears of joy. Yeah. You like my little gifts that I've been sending to you in Discord for responses? <laughs> What's up in Discord? I sent you a little gift. Haha, <laughs> yeah, funny. I just found them. I just never realized that they were there and you could use them. So I was like, hell yeah. We'll get all kinds of smart ass on you. I don't know. I thought they were funny, but you don't think they're that funny. For crap. 10 miles of here. I didn't ban. Canon E. Uso. Rebel G film. That was a G film. Oh. Generic film. Real film. We don't want one of that. It was on Eco Show. What the hell is that?
like an ego that I like to fall in. I don't want it. No, I don't know. These computer brokers, Upton, and um, everybody else. You do it was here. John and then uh, Eddie Mosner was here. There's a few people in and out. I gotta find a laptop today. And then, uh. Oh, I wonder what this one is. Or. What does it have for a. Uh, for software. Pick up. Shell stage. I can't go there, man. I'm hungry then. Windows 10. It does have Windows 10. 100 bucks. It's a Dell. It might be all right. Save. Message. It's still available. That message. I'll go pick that up. That ain't too far out of my way. Oh, oh I gotta go peek. I'll be back. And copy sliding right on through. Mama just went pee. God, I go pee and she comes looking for me. All right, I'm back. Well, they replied already. Look at that. I just gotta put it over here. Yes, yes. All right. Oh shit, what was it? Oh, that was sliding down the ramp. And you're gonna come over here and scratch your shit on me, right? Yeah, John, he left too early. I was gonna ask him a question. And he took off. Are you by the Arby's today? Is asking these people a question. They must work there or something. Yeah, it's still skipping steps. So why is it skipping steps, you wonder? Too much pressure or not enough? Because everything's different now. Material's different. All right. Now I gotta figure this out. 
Let's put in different material. How about that? All right. We're going to change this out. Oh, look it up. We'll get some different filament on here. up to here. You probably know the people because they're from Edgerton. Now what am I going to do with this freaking roll? I don't have nowhere to set this down at for it. I guess move this. Set it down. There, we'll go to Old Faithful. We'll go to Zaltec. Fill it. There might be enough in here to go it. Little bow head filament. Boy, well, I answered quick. Yes, yes. Okay. Kristen, are you by the freaking Arby's? Glass of my gunmetal. Silver. But if it works, I'll put it on mine. Oh no, I mean, this is a tech, I don't care. As long as it works. Oh, that one went in or not. Yeah, that went in. It feels like there's a lot of pressure on it. Get a flashlight out and spin this bitch. Yes, it's too. Hitting it correctly? No kittens, right? I don't know why there's that pieces on here, but it is. I don't know. Let's do something. Check all these screws again. Make sure they stay tight. I can. These are still tight, so. This horror off and start her off. Start her right now. Uh, I thought it was that other pig, but. Actually shows it better. Oh, good, you bugger. Hold on, somebody's here. Uh, oh, 
I got mail. Guess my package is here. That's who that was. What the hell was they just doing? Oh, I'm looking at something. I don't know. But we got a package. Who's all left? Oh, I just don't want to cut like that. Oh, give me nine. There we go. We're going to try it again. Let me spin this back to where it belongs. Live stream delivery and opening. LOL. Yep, we got mail. But I got, you got to make sure you can see the print when it starts to print. If it ever starts to print. I don't know where the hell my camera is doing. Man, yeah, I'll find it, I promise. There we go. Package? Inside a package. Oh, got a sticker. That's why these cost so much money. Little condom. Little condoms. Oh, Acrality condoms. Three of them. Black. I got three of them and a sticker. Ooh ha! I got a sticker. I'm so happy. I love stickers. And then, what do you got? I'll put that over there. A box. And an empty bag for the kitties to play in. Winston. And they fit all four of them in there, nicely packed. 24 volt blowers. 40 millimeter, all tied together. Look like a big old string of snookies now. Never to go back in the box again. Right? Come on, get back in there now. Yeah, down for, uh, Eight dollars? I forget. No, I don't know how much I paid for them. I forget. What did I pay for them? Let's go take a look. Eight ninety-eight for them and six ninety-nine for the Corality condoms. So now I have blowers. I need to get some regular ones yet, too, but that's all right. Oh, there's a leak. Well, it does loud that print on here for a while and see what it says, huh? We know that's decent film, huh? just irritating all that doing that pissing me off but I don't know all right guys well I'm just gonna call it I'm gonna send out some invites to the after show do the after show for a little bit and then uh I will get a damn laptop so appreciate everybody for coming today be back on Sunday 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 so, we'll see you on Sunday. Hopefully, I got this problem all figured out now. I don't know. But then we're going to be printing with, um, working on the other end there with the linear rails. So, thank you all for coming, and uh, we will see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.